Hi, this is Courtney Legavo, the campaign manager for April Sky Ministries, and I'm going to walk you through the steps of how you access your personal web page and how a customer would get through the site, and hopefully I'll answer any questions that you may have. I will give you my contact information in case you do have any questions at the end, and you're welcome to contact me at any time if you need to. So we'll get started. This is generally what your home page will look like. Sometimes the background may change, uh, but as a whole, they all the pages will look the same. The only difference would be here where you would see your logo instead of mine. So below that, you'll see this carousel scrolls, and if you click on any of those links, it will take you directly to whichever book is connected to that. Um, if you scroll down, it's going to actually uh, give you the different books. So as you can see here, we do have all five of the books available they are listed as featured products. If you click on any of those, it will also take you directly to the page connected to that book. So below that, you're going to see a little bit about April Sky Ministries. You're going to see that we do use PayPal for checkout, and that's for all accounts. We do uh, have below that more information about the page and the return policy. Please note that all sales are final. Um, we accept exchanges only in the instance that a product has been damaged in transit. So if it was shipped defective, uh, then we will provide the customer with an exchange as well as information to contact the shipping department in order to get their product fixed. Now, if we want to go up here and take a look at one of the books, we'll click on one of those. And this one is going to pull up Legacy. Now, as you can see at the top, you're going to see the title of the book. Below that, there's product details. Now here, you'll see it has a special ID for each salesperson. So it's going to have the ID for the book, and then it's going to have a four-letter code following that, which is different for each individual. So for myself, it has the first three letters of my first name, so C-O-R, and then the first letter of my last name, L. So this code, when it's transferred to April Sky Ministries, they're going to know exactly which book was purchased, and they're also going to know exactly who sold the book. So if a customer was to purchase this book, it will tell them that I'm the salesperson who sold it, and they'll know exactly what book was purchased. Here, Customers can click on different pictures to view more information about each book. So this one has the front cover, the back cover, and then a couple of additional pictures that I created for uh, whichever book you might be looking at. So the customer can see all of these different pictures. You also have access to those pictures through the Facebook group which I'll share with you at the end. Um, but you do have access to use these pictures if you wish to use them for advertising purposes. Now, over here, you're going to see this is the price of the book. This is the price with tax. And then once you add the books, at the end, there will be shipping cost added to it there. At the bottom, you're going to find a little bit of information about each book. So this tells you about legacy, and it also has an option for the customer to share it on Facebook, Google+, Pinterest, and Twitter. So if they are interested in it, 
Um, they're also able to promote it if you do have anybody who wishes to do so. They also are able to write a review on it. It's optional, but that is something that uh, your customers can do as well. And then at the bottom, you'll find related products, which will connect them to the other books instead of them having to return to the homepage to see each one. So once your customer decides to get a book or multiple, they can put however many in that they want. So we'll do two, add it to the cart, And then it's going to take your customer to the checkout page. So this particular book is the most expensive of all the books. It is $16.95 per book. So for two books, the total was $33.90. So if they continue to check out, then it's going to redirect them to PayPal and they can proceed with their order by that manner. Um, it's going to give them an option to create an account. So if they wish to, they can create one, or they can just go through the cell as a customer, um, as a guest. So they'll put in all their information, where they want the order shipped to, and then it'll give them postage and all the other um, pricing total at the end. So we're gonna go back for now. Here you can click on this and go back to books from this little icon right here. Or there's also at the top of each page navigation option. Right here they can search for a particular book. And right here they can create an account or they can log in if they've already created an account in the past. So here they'll be able to see previous orders that they've made as well. Now the navigation button also is going to redirect them to, um, to the other pages available. So you have your home page, which is this page that you're on now. You have an about you page. So instead of, of my name, it would have your name, uh, the shopping cart, and then contact. Now contact is going to allow them to email you directly to your April Sky email. The April Sky email is also the email that you will use to see any of the cells that you've received. So first I'm going to take you here and then I will tell you a little bit more information about that. So we're going to go to the about page. Now again this page will have your information. It'll have a picture of you, preferably uh, holding the book or books that you chose as your favorite. It'll have your name and your title. You'll be able to have selected your favorite Bible verse. I have one here, and I created a picture for that verse. I can create one for you as well, or um, we can just put the verse, whichever you prefer. And then it's going to be at the bottom have a little bit more information about why you selected the book that you did and what book you selected. So that's what I have here for myself. I personally chose Legacy and Empty Me Up. I put why I liked both of those books. And um, additionally, I personally put why I, um, what I like about Jody's books and why it's something that interests me. So that's something that customers will be able to see as well. Now again, all cells are going to show up on your April Sky email. So each time you get a cell, it's going to be sent to your email. You're going to be able to see how many purchases you have. And then you will receive payment at the end of each month when those cells are tallied. So as far as the website itself, you don't have to do anything to connect to that. All you do is provide your customers with your web page, which will be your name dash April dash sky dash ministry dash page dot offer supermarket dot com. That's going to be the same for all salespeople. So all you have to do is provide 
your customer with that information and they will be able to access your page directly. The only way that you can get credit for a sale is if it is made on your personal page. If it's made through Amazon, through the April Sky website, through another individual's page, or by any other means, you cannot get credit for that sale because we have no way of tracking it. So make sure all customers purchase items directly through your page. If you do have a customer who's interested in purchasing in bulk, for example, if they wanted to do a Bible study, so they want to purchase 20 books or however many, then you can contact Jody directly in order to get bulk pricing. But otherwise, all orders must go through your website. My contact information, if you have any issues or additional questions, is promotions at aprilsky.net. Again, that's promotions, P-R-O-M-O-T-I-O-N-S at aprilsky.net. You're also welcome to go to our page. It's the April Sky Support Team. It's a group page that will allow you to connect with us. I can help you from there with questions you may have. And also, it will give you the avail availability to have access to all of the promotional um, literature, photos, and things of that nature that we use. And everyone can come together in order to give ideas about how to um, sell on Facebook. I'm also going to have another how-to page available showing you how to use your Facebook for promotions and how to access our group page. So for now, this is how you use the website. For any other questions, again, feel free to contact myself or Jody if it's related specifically to product. Thank you.